Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're gonna be talking about some of the bonuses, sales, discounts, and more that are going on right now in Grand Theft Auto Online that'll surely get you prepared for the gun running update, as well as a bunch of secret discounts that not a lot of people in the community have actually received. Now, when I am making this video, Rockstar has not posted any information on this event on the newswire. So what I'm going off of today is discounts that I have in game, as well as findings from people like Foxy Snaps and Fun MW2. So it is kind of weird that Rockstar has not updated the newswire, and this is important for a couple reasons. Number one, we'll obviously get the full set of details, but number two, depending on when the event ends, might give us some clues on the release date. So I will do an update to this video when they eventually uh, update the newswire. I'm not sure why they haven't yet. Recently, they've been doing things later and later in the afternoon, so that might be one of the reasons, but I'll be sure to keep you guys in the loop. So I told you guys earlier that a lot of these discounts will get you prepared in some way, shape, or form for the gun running update. That seems to be, be what a lot of these discounts are for. The first of which is for the armored boxville. So since I have the trade-in price, my price is $1.6. $5 million. I think the box feel is cool, but the lack of bulletproof wheels on there is a real buzz kill. And I think this thing flips pretty easily, but if you do want it, it is now at the price of $1.65 million. Up next, you've got the Ruiner 2000. I know a lot of people that have bought it at this price. My trade-in price brings it uh, to $3.24 million, which is actually pretty cheap considering its original price is $5.7. So that right there is a pretty good deal on the Ruiner 2000. You've also got a pretty great deal on the Rocket Voltic, which I believe was originally like three or $4 million. Now with this discount on my trade-in price, it is 2.16 million. Again, pretty cool vehicle right here that is definitely useful for a lot of different situations. So that right there is pretty epic. The next vehicle that is on sale is the Insurgent Pickup, which is actually pretty cheap now. It is just over a million dollars, one million and twelve thousand and a half dollars. So that's a pretty cool pickup right there. Again, all the vehicles we're going to be going over, you almost certainly could use in the gun running missions in some form or capacity. So I do believe all of them will be useful in their own unique way. You've got the Valkyrie, which instead of it being at $2.85 million, it's now only 2.137, which is pretty good. And I forgot to mention this, but all of them are at a 25% discount in case you guys were curious as to what's going on. And then the last one that is available on sale for Warstock is the Rhino Tank. So instead of it being 1.5 million, it's now only 1.125 million dollars. So those are all the discounts on the Warstock Cash and Carry site. If we move over to Elitis, you can see there are two vehicles on sale. You have the Luxor Deluxe and the Swift Deluxe, the Golden Jet and Helicopter. So instead of the Luxor Deluxe being only 10 million dollars, now it's five. Swift Deluxe, instead of it being a little over five million, is now 2.575. I would not recommend you buy these vehicles unless you just really, really want one uh, because they are just status symbols. And honestly, I would just save your money on the gun running update when it comes out. So in my personal opinion, I would not buy these, but it is your own personal preference. You can do whatever you want. Up next, we've got some discounts to the executive offices. So the offices themselves are gonna be 25% off, which is quite nice. I've told you guys in the past that you can utilize this office on sale thing to kind of backdoor get your way some extra money in online. So that's pretty cool. And then all the things you can do with the office garage are to 50% discount. So all the modifications to the interior, the lighting, the signage, the custom auto shop, as well as changing the name and the signage of your organization itself. All of those are going to be at a 50% discount. So some pretty cool stuff going on right there. Again, if you wanted to get yourself prepped for gun running, which is pretty awesome. You've also got 25% off of all yacht items. So that includes buying the yacht and the upgrades, which is pretty cool. Again, I'm not sure how many of you guys don't own a yacht or are interested in one. It's probably only a small majority of people that are watching this video, but everything from the model to the fittings, to the lighting, the color, the name, and the flag, it's going to be 25% off. So you can actually get yourself a pretty cheap yacht, uh, which if, if that's something you want, that is actually a pretty cool discount right there. And now we've actually got to talk about the secret or targeted discounts. Now, believe it or not, I actually received the targeted discounts this week. Now, I'm not sure if these are all of them. 
Again, we're still waiting on the Rockstar Newswire, but what I wanna do is hear from you guys in the comment section down below. If you have the targeted sales, like the select ones that aren't mentioned on the Newswire, send me a tweet with like the loading screen that says everything that's gonna be featured in the targeted sales. When I do the update video, that's something I'll include in there as well. But the first thing that was for sale was the Cargo Bob. I think it's getting 65% off. It's only $626,000, which is pretty cool. As well as the Jet Sam version, which instead of it being $2 million, is now under $700,000. So the Cargo Bob is useful for the import-export missions. I'm sure in some way, shape, or form, it'll be useful for the gun running stuff, so that's pretty cool. The next bonus that is the targeted one is for the Savage. So instead of the Savage being nearly $2 million, it's only $975,000. Again, a pretty great discount right there. That's one of the targeted ones too. Another targeted one occurs on the Legendary Motorsports site. However, I didn't get a discount. It's for the Gallivanter Baller LE. And instead of it being $149,000 for me, it's $149,000. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if I got the short end of the stick on some discount, but I don't have any discount on there, even though it tells me I should. And the final one that is available for me is the Karen Karuma, the armored one. Again, another great vehicle that'll be useful for gun running. So instead of it being over $500,000, it's $393,000. And those are all the targeted bonuses that I know of as far as what's going on in online. Now, just as I was getting ready to wrap up this video, of course, Rockstar decided they were going to update the Newswire, and everything I've mentioned so far has been correct. We need to jump to the ammunition store, as that's where the, the only other sets of discounts uh, are going on. So you're going to be getting 25% off of all ammo, 25% off of all body armor, 50% off of box and drum magazines, and 50% off of luxury finishes. So that's pretty cool. There wasn't really anything else as far as the other discounts goes that you guys needed to be made aware of. And then the only other thing that Rockstar mentioned is that on May 30th through June 5th, there's going to be a new time trial and premium race. The premium race is going to be Ascent, which is locked to the Rocket Voltic, and the time trial is going to be Observatory. However, the main part of this update is pretty cool. We're getting a lot of money, extra money making opportunities. The first of which is coming in the special vehicle work. It's like the Ramp Buggy mission, the Phantom Wedge mission. Those are all double money and RP, which is really awesome. So these are pretty lucrative missions, especially if you do them on hard and with your friends. So you can actually make a lot of money with those. You're also getting 25% more bonus on the selling of crates, which is actually kind of cool. And then to wrap things up, you're getting 20% bonus on special cargo sales and biker business product. So this uh, bonus occurs when you sell the products, not when you're doing anything else. And it's 20% as compared to the other discounts, which are 25 and 50. So I'm not exactly sure why that's the case, but I still think that that is an awesome way to make some money. So however long this event is gonna be lasting, you definitely want to do the special cargo stuff like the crates and the biker businesses. Now, before I let you go today, there is some things we need to talk about here because I think that the dates of this event actually give away some clues on when the gun running DLC could be coming out. So all of these Grand Theft Auto Online bonuses start today, uh, which is May 26th, obviously, and they end on June 12th. So that means that this event is going on for 16 days. That's over two weeks. That seems like a really long time. And does it also mean that the release date of gun running is going to be on June 13th? Well, that would be the obvious answer. However, one thing that's kind of keeping me from saying that it's the 13th is that Rockstar has a premium race and a time trial that end on June 5th, yet they don't announce one from June 6th through the 12th. Why would they do that? That seems kind of weird to me, and that's why I think it may come out still on June the 6th and not the 13th. It also wouldn't make sense on the 13th uh, from an industry standpoint because that's when E3 is going on, the largest video game exposition in the world. Why would Rockstar want to compete with that when there's going to be so much news on the gun running when there's gonna be so much other news on other video games. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments section down below. Do you think that gun running is gonna be coming out on the 13th? Do you think it's gonna be coming out on the 6th? 
I am so torn right now. I wanna hear from you guys in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think is going to happen. I guess we'll really find out if we get more information from Rockstar. I really hope it's the sixth because I, I did plan on going to E3, but if gun running is gonna come out during that week, who knows, I might have to end up changing my plans. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. That's really all I've got for you today. I guess I won't have to do that update video because I was really only waiting on some other details and when the event was going on. But like I said, let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comment section down below. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.